Hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey. I'm a practicing orthodontist as well as the co-founder of Trayminder. Trayminder is an app that helps clear aligner users remember to wear and change their aligners. In today's video, I'm going to talk about whether orthodontics is worth it. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you are starting to consider whether you want to embark on the journey of you know, a smile transformation, or maybe you are in the middle of getting your teeth corrected, going through orthodontics, and maybe you are starting to lose a little bit of motivation and is it all worth, is it all worth it at the end? Now, with today's world, a changing world, we are all doing lots of Zoom meetings. And interestingly, I'm seeing an uptick uh, in the number of adults that are coming in and getting consultations for orthodontics. And I think part of it is that uh, there's a thing called Zoom dysmorphia. That's where you are spending a lot of time on Zoom looking at yourself and noticing things about yourself that you've never noticed before. You're comparing yourself to other people that are on the Zoom call and all of a sudden you're starting to notice things that are bothering you that you've never considered before. Maybe it's uh, a crooked tooth or a gap between your teeth or you know a dark spot on your temples, whatever it is. And so people are paying more attention to their appearances now than before. And I think that that has to do with the number of sheer hours that we are now in front of the camera. Now, orthodontics is not just about creating that beautiful smile or straight teeth, but it's also creating a foundation of good function. So it's important to realize that we're using our teeth not just to smile, but it's important for proper alignment of teeth and bite is important for speech as well as for mastication and eating. And so, but of course, most people do pursue orthodontics because they want to have a more beautiful straight smile. And, but I like to kind of think of it as the other way around. Uh, we want to create that good function because if you have deep bite and you grind your teeth at night, that's going to accelerate the wear down of your teeth. Uh, so it's important to create that good function. And of course, you know, getting that beautiful straight smile is going to be the cherry on top. But I know a lot of people don't think about it that way. As a board certified orthodontist, I see what happens to people's teeth and bite and the wear down and the acceleration of enamel wear down from poor, uh, poor bite over the long run. So I want you to all kind of focus, think about that. It's kind of like um, the rest of your body. We all want to look good, but ultimately we want to have good cardiovascular health. We want to have good um, healthy bodies that can allow us to age gracefully without a lot of pain or discomfort. That's number one. And if exercising and eating well helps you to become healthier and age more gracefully and you get to look better, then I think that the function of our bodies is probably more important than how it looks. But you know, of course, everybody has a different has a different um, opinion, but we all begin to appreciate our bodies more when we get sick. That's when we realize, oh my goodness, I value my good health because it feels terrible to have the flu or whatnot. Now, of course, I'm not going to downplay the importance of aesthetics. Uh, having uh, teeth that are extremely malpositioned, misaligned crowding, or having buck teeth or large gaps between your teeth can be a very disfiguring people. I know patients that don't ever smile or they cover their mouths when they're talking to people. They're not smiling with their teeth for pictures. That can be extremely limiting to you in terms of not just your personal uh, confidence, not just how you react and how you interact with the world, but also it affects how the world looks at you. And given that we live in a very 
um, image conscious society, having that confident, beautiful smile is going to be something that is important. It could mean the difference between getting a regular job and getting that dream job or opening the door to finding that new relationship. So having a confident smile is definitely very important uh, in that regard. And of course, cost is a huge consideration when you are about to embark on orthodontic treatment. Some of you are looking at different options. Some of you have already started treatment and you are still paying uh, for that. So that is definitely a big consideration. I would encourage you to look at some areas of your life that you can uh, maybe cut back on that will help to make the cost of orthodontics more affordable. One thing that I've learned in some of my business classes is that uh, forget the one-time deal type expenses. Look at, look, take a careful look at some of your recurring expenses because those are the things that seem very little but they can really add up over time because it's a recurring cost it's a recurring expense so whether it be a cable bill or a phone plan you know do you actually use all of the data that you need on your phone plan can you reduce that even if it's a five dollar savings that helps so, so look at those recurrent costs because that can really add up to be quite a bit Another thing that I've realized is that if something is important to you, you'll make it happen. Um, people always find a way to pay for something that they really want. It just means that you can't have everything that you want, but you can have some of what you want. Obviously, if you are trying to figure out whether you should put food on the table or orthodontic treatment, or, you know, then that's probably not the best time to pursue it okay and a lot of people are extremely affected by um, life and by world events and so not everybody can have the luxury of getting orthodontic treatment but if you can if you can if you are able to do it it is a good investment you know orthodontics um, is can be life-changing and Think about your smile as something that you wear on your face every single day of your life. If you buy a pair of shoes, you buy a purse, you buy um, a new bike, you don't use it every day. You can't use it every day. Um, in terms of cost per wear, it's your your smile on your face. It's It's a really great investment. And also, I would encourage you to look at other options that are not just a a traditional orthodontic practice. Uh, I actually got my orthodontic treatment at a dental school. I was a dental student at the time at UCLA. And instead of going to a private orthodontist, I went to the UCLA um, Department of Orthodontics department and the cost was at least $2,000 less and they were able to allow me to make monthly payments. I think it was less than $100 per month and that's how I was able to pursue orthodontic treatment when I was a student with zero income whatsoever. So if it's important to you, definitely look into those options because you are being treated by um, a dentist who has graduated from dental school. And not only that, but they are being supervised by faculty, orthodontic faculty members. And so especially if you have a very complicated case, I would encourage you to seek uh, an orthodontic consultation at one of the, the schools, the universities that have a dental school. That's a really great option. An advice that I want to give you is that when you are comparing different providers, really look and ask questions. Are you getting comprehensive orthodontic treatment or are you getting limited alignment only or limited orthodontic treatment? There is a big difference. When you are getting ortho comprehensive orthodontic treatment, you are getting a aligned teeth, you're straightening your teeth, but you are also getting bite correction. Uh, and if you want to learn a little bit more about bite correction or elastics, I'll link some videos below. But going back to what I said earlier about having a good bite and a good function, 
that's number one. You can have great, beautiful straight teeth, but if your bite is off, you have deep bite, you're going to be wearing down the enamel of your incisors. If you have an open bite, then you are going to be wearing down your back molars. And over time, those effects can be as exaggerated and it can lead to an accelerated wear down of your teeth. Having a bad bite can also contribute to issues with TMJ, uh, with poor eating, poor speech. And so definitely be careful when you are going through orthodontic treatment, make sure that you know what you are signing up for. And I do appreciate that some people have a stable bite, but they only want alignment and that is fine too. I'm not, I do plenty of limited cases, but I make it very clear to my patients what we are pursuing, what we're willing to do, what we're not willing to do, because the truth is that my patients are people. They have goals, they have lives, they're not going to spend 100% of their energy on just orthodontics. And so if they do not want to spend two years wearing rubber bands or, or getting extractions or getting jaw surgery to get to that ideal point, I get it. I'm a person too. And so I respect that. And together we come up with a treatment plan that's customized to them so that we can get better results, but still being respectful to the goals and desires of my patient. That is what you are looking for. You're looking for somebody, an orthodontist, who is good at listening to what your needs are, what your goals are, uh, not being a yes person too. You know, you don't want somebody that will say yes to everything because their their goal as a doctor is to advise you that no, that what you're asking is is not a good idea and this is why. And so you wanna look for somebody that is willing to listen to your needs, but guide you and let you know what your options are, what the pros and cons are, what the alternatives are. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful for you if you are still in the process of getting started and looking at different options, different uh, methods of delivery. I know that uh, the orthodontic um, industry has changed a lot. There are a lot of other players that are now uh, in contention. So my goal is to give you some ideas and some avenues of looking at different points of view and asking the right questions so that you know what you're getting and at the end it's your money whether it is two thousand dollars or seven thousand dollars you are still spending that money and i hope that you will get what you are looking for the best thing to do is to schedule a consultation with an orthodontic specialist at that appointment, they will do an extra oral, intra oral exam. They may take a panoramic x ray to look at your teeth and your bones and give you some ideas in terms of what the findings are, uh, what the solutions are, and then give you information as far as the financial pricing. A lot of offices have. Um, no, no interest monthly financing, they have pay in full discounts, they will look up your insurance benefits to see if you can take advantage of any orthodontic benefits. So that is my recommendation for you if you are considering starting orthodontic treatment. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. This is Dr. Bailey. I will see you next time. Bye.